You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. <laughs> get it down. Woo! Get him, baby. Get him. <laughs> That's, awesome. That's Tyler Tanak on another big yellowtail at Cedros Island. What a fabulous trip all the guys had from island fishing, tackling Carson, California. They flew down to Cedros Island and had tremendous yellowtail action. On one day, three guys, 64 yellowtail caught and released. They also caught calico bass, white sea bass, some excellent halibut fishing, and so much more. It was a dream trip with Cedro Sport Fishing as everybody on board vowed to go back again next year. Tremendous fishing, great camaraderie, wonderful food, and so much to enjoy at beautiful Cedros Island. Left these guys wondering and hoping for the next trip to come. Show us how to hook a sardine. This is going to be a Friedman Adventures uh, video, by the way. Really? Yeah. Are you going to be famous? Uh, I guess so. Alright, Phil. Let me show you a shoulder hook of sardine. Take a nice, lively bait like that. Look at that. All the slime and scales are still on it. Don't drop them on the floor like that, though. Pick them up with their head facing away from you. You hook them right in the back here if he, if he has shoulders. You gotta make sure that you don't go too deep. Just go nice and light, just like that. Perfect. Okay. If you deep, you're gonna paralyze the bait. Or if you go too shallow, they'll fall off just like that too. <laughs> right behind the head here, right in the skin. Hook your bait. Makes Perfect. it slim down very good. Hook your bait and let go always. On September 24th through the 26th, we'll be on board the Apollo, and you are invited for this very special two-day trip. It is limited to only 21 anglers, includes all meals, and should be fantastic. This is when we have our best weather months in the fall, and the Apollo, they've been on their game this year. Outstanding fishing and really nice weather. Then we're going to switch over to the Amigo out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California for another two-day adventure. October 6th through the 8th should be another great trip. Tanner, Cortez Bank, and anywhere else the fish are. Don't forget, text me at 657-227-6459 to get on board the Apollo and or the Amigo. Best weather months of the year and hopefully lots of fish for you to catch. <laughs> Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, this lovely Tuesday morning. I mean, it is beautiful. It's nice and cool down here. There's a gorgeous sunrise, and we have got so much to talk about, including some long-range fishing that is absolutely incredible. What a great long-range summer it has been, and hopefully it extends into the fall when I'm on an eight-day trip on board the Independence should be great. We're going to check on our bluefin tuna out there on Tanner Cortez and even out there towards Santa Barbara Island. The Osborne Bank is where we've been catching some big nighttime fish. What's that weather doing? There's been some bluefin out of Ventura sport fishing taken and also we'll check in on some Morro Bay albacore, the Coronado Islands red hot and so much more. You know what time it is. It is time for the morning briefing. Good morning my friends. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good, and it's so great of you to be here with us all. Thank you so much for all you do for Freeman Adventures, all the likes you give us, all the shares you give us. Man, I'll tell you, subscribing to the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel is a big one, and also sharing these videos with friends. Take the little bell. You will be notified when there is new content available. You can also follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Spotify, and Apple Podcast. Man, really a lot going on. Boy, I'll tell you, it is absolutely gorgeous. And in terms of the surf here this morning, there is a ton. I don't see them right now. Maybe, yeah, I do see them offshore there. You might see them in the background, those white turn birds. They were on the beach just a moment ago, which is an indicator that there's bait here. And when there's bait here, there's predators on that bait. Might be a really 
excellent surf fishing afternoon. I say afternoon because that's when the high tide is going to be, but you can fish now and pull a nice halibut or something like that out of here. I digress. Hey, I want to thank Chris Navarro, who I saw last night on our live show down there at Island Fishing Tackle, Tackle Shop Confessions, for being on the Pride, number one, and then taking that great photo or that video with Robbie showing how to hook a sardine. Robbie, thank you so much. Man, is there a harder working kid than Robbie? He works so hard. I see him over here every once in a while going surfing. It's been a while, however, but he's a hard working, great deckhand. Hats off to Robbie. Thank you, Chris. And what a trip down to Cedros Island. I'll cover that in a moment in greater detail. But last night's Tackle Shop Confession, we delved in to how to go to Cedars, what the experience is like, how much it costs, what kind of tackle to bring, how much fish you can bring back. Tackle Shop Confessions is archived and available to you right now. The guys from Island Fishing Tackle had a phenomenal trip down there, and I'll talk about it when we get into Mexico Lindo, which I'm about to do here in a second. By the way, don't forget, we're doing a used tackle drive, and all that used fishing tackle is going to go to the kids on Cedros Island, I'm working with Diego Nuno from Royal Star Sport Fishing. He's a deckhand on board. Diego was born on the island of Cedros, so his heart and soul are into helping the people there. You can drop off your used tackle with Sam over there at Island Fishing Tackle at Big Fish Bait and Tackle in Seal Beach, California. You can also drop it off at Hook, Line, and Sinker up there in Santa Barbara. Ventura Sport Fishing, Eric's Fishing Tackle in Ventura. Also, and over in Bellflower, you've got Young's Fishing Tackle. Just put a little used tackle to the side, and the next time you go to your favorite tackle store, leave it, and we'll pick it up and get it down to the kids of Cedros. All right, we're on the theme of Cedros right now, so let's talk about it. It was an amazing trip that Sam De La Torre and all the guys that went from Island Fishing Tackle, and there's a lot of great people who were on this trip. On one day, Sam and a couple of other guys caught and released 64 yellowtail. Sam said you could literally watch the fish eat your jigs. And Tyler Tanaka knocked it out of the park with that great intro for the morning briefing. Beautiful stuff, Tyler. So happy you had such a great trip. Our tax guy, Tim Marquez, was on the trip and caught halibut, nice calico bass, and yellowtail. Tim said, it was a dream trip. Just about everybody. No, I'm sorry. Everybody that was on that trip had a fantastic trip. So much to catch. So great the camaraderie with all the people on that trip. It was really, really special. And Cedro Sport Fishing is the agency they use for their trip. And Sam can't say enough good things about Rosie, the lady who really orchestrates your trip and takes care of you. From the time you arrive in San Diego, you walk across the bridge to the Tijuana airport, and then you fly to Cedros. She takes care of everything, making it so easy. And just all you have to worry about is catching another fish and having more fun. What a great trip. Cedros on fire with a whole bunch of different species right now. And once again, go back and listen to Sam De La Torre. That is one great instructional video. And I say instructional because Sam goes through it all how to go to Cedros, and how to have so much fun. Let's come up to Ensenada. We're fishing down in Ensenada. It's hit and miss on the bluefin tuna. You go offshore. Once in a while, you'll catch those things. Once in a while, you will not. There's still plenty of BFT outside of Ensenada, so the chances are you've got a good shot at catching some bluefin tuna. Trolled Mad Max has been the best way to do it, but there's been fish on the surface iron, on the poppers, on the Daiwa Sakana, cold sniper-type lures. Those have all been very, very effective when you're offshore. There's the occasional yellowfin tuna also mixed in there, but no big numbers, and an occasional dorado. But we haven't seen too much dorado here lately. The flatheads are out of the picture wondering if some of that warm water stuff will push up with the fall kind of weather that we'll, we'll experience. We're going to get that calm weather, that lack of wind beautiful seas. That's normally when we have our best weather months here in SoCal and Northern Baja. So hopefully that will take off. There's quite a bit of marlin offshore also. And that yellowtail is up playing around again under the birds. It pushes the bait to the surface. You run over there throwing iron and you can get on to a 8 to 20 plus pound yellowtail. Some of that is zooming around Punabanda and Todos Santos Island 
A lot of it is down there around Santo Tomas, where there are some good barracuda flurries, some great rock fishing closer to Ensenada along the coast. You catch some calico and sand bass, Puna Banda, that rugged coast. You can catch calico bass. There's a lot of other things to do if those bluefin tuna drive you a little crazy down there. And man, do they like to do that or what? Long range fishing, it can't get any better. What a summer it has been for the seven and eight day boys that are fishing out of San Diego. The Independence yesterday just put the wood to superior grade yellowfin tuna. A lot of 40 to 80 pound fish and as wide open as you could imagine it. It was so much fun on the Independence. So many fish and just another day that the anglers on board will surely remember for a long time to come. I mean, these yellowfin tuna are eating the heavy line. They'll eat a hundred pound if you want them to. You can catch them on the iron. You can catch them on a popper. Anything you throw at them, they are biting right now and it is as good as you could possibly want it. Great fishing on the Independence. And don't forget, we have a five day trip on the Indy next April. You're gonna to wanna to be on that one. Give Paulina a call today and say hi for me. She's a great person. And you can get more information or book by going to www.independentswordfishing.com. Great fishing down there on those seven and eight day trips. And the XL showing us that there are Wahoo and lots of them. 64, I think it was, on the Wahoo for them yesterday. Tremendous fishing on board the big XL as the long range boats continue their assault, not only on that yellowfin, but just check out all the Wahoo that were caught on the XL. It was really a day to remember. The Wahoo fishing has been outstanding down there and you combine that with that yellowfin tuna and man, you've died and gone to heaven. Tremendous Wahoo bite yesterday on board the XL. So you can focus on that yellowfin, then you can go to the Wahoo zone and focus on that. And there's still yellowtail in the mix with the long range guys. What a season it has been. Great yellowtail action at times also. And then when you're coming home, a lot of guys are going into the Baja coast and they're catching big calico bass. There's been some really great white sea bass scores for the long range boys in the coastal regions in Baja, California. It has been absolutely spectacular. Great fishing continuing for the long range fleet out of San Diego, California. All right, if you're having unfiled taxes laying around, they're driving you crazy, you need to give Tim Marquez a call right now here on this beautiful golden hour morning in Surfside, California. Tim will take care of everything. He's been doing it for 35 years. And heating and or air conditioning needs, you definitely want to check with John Lopez at Efficient Heating and air conditioning. John's a great Freedman Adventures family member and he'll take care of everything. All right, it's time for our morning to say hello to Valentino. Buenos dias, Valentino. Great guy, there's Valentino, everybody. He is really a spectacular human being who's always working hard down here. I love chatting with him and I'll be doing that in just a little bit. All right, let's get back to it. And now we need to bring you in and talk a little bit about our bluefin tuna bite here in Southern California. It has been spectacular. It has been great, but the weather is up. Some of the smaller boats are unable to fish in this weather right now. But the good thing about it is I saw this weather get downgraded for Friday. We were talking about wind from now up through Friday. It looks like Friday is going to be beautiful. It looks like Saturday is going to be beautiful out there. Tanner Cortez, Osborne Bank, where that big fish is. It looks like Sunday's going to be beautiful. And then out there a little bit further. Remember, I tell you, these forecasts, when they get out a few days, are inaccurate. Looks like Monday afternoon we could have some more wind. We'll leave that for later. I'm just loving the fact that it looks like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to get a break in this weather. And that would be really richly deserved. There's a lot of 18 to 20 plus knot winds blowing around Tanner and Cortez. The Cadillacs can fish in that. Cadillacs refer to the long range boats, the XL, the Independence, guys like that, that some of them are fishing short right now, like three day trips, four day trips, and they're fishing there. The long guys on the seven and eight day trips are headed 500 miles down the Baja coast. But some of these guys that are fishing 90, 100 miles off the beach are encountering really great fishing. Now, the daytime bite, remember, has been on 25 to 
60 pound bluefin tuna. It's a fly line bait. It's hooking your bait properly like Robbie showed you and it's choosing a really good hot bait. And when you have to drop down to 25 pound fluorocarbon, if you can get away with 30 and or 40, better yet. Those fish not only pull hard, but they have teeth and they will chew you up. You don't want to be on a bluefin tuna for an hour and see it in color and think to yourself, my God, my dream. I got my dream bluefin tuna and the dumb thing chews through the line and then you're just left there heartbroken. You don't want that to happen. So fish is heavy a line as is possible. Sometimes you're going to have to drop down to that 25 pound and you're going to have to do a couple things. Number one, fish with a circle hook, get that hook in their jaw, keep that line away from their little teeth. That is one thing and pull hard on those fish and get them to the boat. The longer you're on them, the more they can go wrong. At night, we've been fishing the jigs up there around Osborne. There's several other areas. The Osborne Bank is located west of San Clemente Island out toward Santa Barbara Island, that little small island here in Southern California. And it's been really good out there with fish to over 200 pounds. What magnificent fishing. There was some good fishing going on, but this weather has definitely taken a toll on the smaller boats. They are unable to fish in it. Some guys are toughing it out and giving it a try. Other guys are going south. Cadillacs can fish that and still continue to catch nice big grade fish. There's 40 pounders in there also. The range is 40 to 200 plus pounds. And the 350 to 400 gram jigs have been working well. 500 gram jigs in this weather now is something you're going to need to make it happen. 200 pound bite leaders definitely want to have that. And 100 pound spectra is just perfect. So there is really great fishing going on, but the weather's in the way right now. And we're just going to have to wait for that to come down. All right, let's remind you all that if you're headed to Catalina Island and on a day like this, who wouldn't want to go to Catalina? It's gorgeous. Jump on the El Patron. She's fat. She's speedy. Great crew, great food. And uh, you're going to really enjoy yourself. She's out of Long Beach sport fishing and you can book with the weekdays being specially priced, lower prices for you at www.longbeachsportfishing.org. We'll cover what's going on at Catalina Island here in a moment. First of all, let's talk Coronado Islands where there is some fun fishing going on. It's not the 100 fish scores on the yellowtail every single day for the sport boats that we were experiencing maybe a month ago, but it is still darn good fishing. And now there's a mix of bluefin and yellowtail at the island. Sometimes you'll catch bluefin tuna in 60 feet of water. It's absolutely incredible. Other times you go offshore and have to find some breezing fish around, but in, at times that fish is mixed up with the yellowtail. Our dear friend Marcus Fain out with Pinnacle Sport Fishing yesterday, and what a trip. He had limits of yellowtail on that trip. They had a bluefin tuna, and Marcus said these were big, tough, mean fish that wanted to head for the structure right away. You had to do everything you could to hang on to another great trip for Marcus. It's about time he showed up here on another live Freedman Adventures YouTube channel video because he really explains everything you need to know about how to catch more fish. I love Marcus. Great job indeed. Grande had 15 yellowtail yesterday fishing out of San Diego, leaving in the morning, coming back that same evening. Same thing for the Mission Bell. Eight bluefin, 13 yellowtail. Nice hit on the bluefin there. San Diego, 13 bluefin tuna, 12 yellowtail. And if you want, there's bass around there. There's barracuda around there. There's rockfish around there. Coronado Island's looking pretty good. San Clemente Island, there's still the chance for some white sea bass and yellowtail. And you'll probably see some of that in the coming days because guys are going to be hiding from that wind. You make some squid there at Pyramid Cove and drop down with a dropper loop rig. Talk to your deck in if you don't know how to tie it. Don't fish it with anything less than 50 pounds. And you can catch some nice white sea bass and yellowtail at night. Not again prolific like it once was, but every once in a while, especially white sea bass, we'll see a big hit on that during the daytime. You fly line a dean around town there and you can come up with some yellowtail and some excellent calico bass fish. And at Catalina Island, we continue to see picky fishing going on for the surface up. An occasional yellowtail, some bonito. You see occasional barracuda kicked in there. You know, whitefish, sheephead. It's a lot of different fish with just a few of those fish. It's gorgeous conditions. And we had been seeing a lot more yellowtail, but they just don't want to settle and bite quite yet. 
I don't know if it's a fall thing. I don't know if it's ever going to manifest. We'll just keep our eyes on it for you very, very closely. For sure, fishing lighter line, like 15 pound for the bass will really help you a great deal. So keep that in mind. Hey, I should have mentioned when talking about Tanner Cortez, the Endeavor a couple days ago, limits a bluefin to a Tucker McCombs. He's not catching limits of white sea bass. He's off doing something else. Two day trip. And then the second day, the weather just chased him out of there. He said it got way too nasty and it's up right now. A lot of boats are unable to fish on that. So we'll keep our eyes on it for you very, very closely. Up there around Santa Barbara, you have that bluefin at night. And then at the island itself, there's some big yellowtail at times and some really good calico bass and wide open barracuda fishing at Santa Barbara Island. The Channel Islands, a little breezy up there. Also, haven't seen any big hits of white sea bass and halibut kind of picking away at all of that stuff. You know, a few fish here and there. And then excellent rock fishing. That has been the rule. Don't forget, out of bed tourist sport fishing, the island spirit awaits you. And the island spirit is such a great, big, roomy boat with Captain Daniel Hadoui and their great crew. I even see Saul on there decking from times to time. Saul up there in the ticket office is such a great person, as are all the folks who make Ventura Sport Fishing so special. If you'd like to get on board the island spirit, go to VenturaSportFishing.com. Book a trip today. Don't forget, kids fish free on Sundays up there. It's always a great time with all the kids. Or you can give them a call at 805-676-3474. Get on the island spirit and have some fun, especially this Sunday, man. You're going to have a really great time for sure. Morro Bay, Monterey, up there in that neck of the woods. Of course, we continue to catch rockfish. Private boater reported to me that there was 42 albacore caught. 75 miles from Morro Bay. Are you listening? Man, I haven't seen any photos yet, uh, and I'm waiting. I would like to see that. But the guy who gave me the information, live free, die free, he is rock solid on his information. So I'm taking this one to the bank and keeping my fingers crossed that Morro gets a shot more of Albuquerque. They actually have nice weather offshore in that 75-mile region. Right now, as we speak, going to get windy this afternoon. But right now, there's some good weather. Maybe somebody snuck out there and is giving it a try. I also talked to Sal Rocha, and Sal said, Phil, we covered a lot of that area, and we haven't come up with anything. But he said, conditions, perfect for Albuquerque. Wouldn't surprise me to hear a catch like that. And he said, my fingers are crossed. He said, water temps have come up, and a whole bunch of choby have moved in there. And choby, of course, one of the favorite food sources for Albuquerque. That could get rolling in a hurry. They've got Albuquerque out of San Francisco continuing to catch fish up there when the weather is good. Great lingcod fishing up there. Also plenty of rockfish. So that has been outstanding. No question about it. Let's go down and check out what's going on with the half-day boats out of San Diego as they continue their assault on a variety of different fish. What a year it's been locally down there. There's some sand bass. There's some calico bass. There's an occasional white sea bass and yellowtail. There's some great bonito fishing going on. Really a lot of action out of the San Diego-based half-day boats that are fishing the local areas like La Jolla or going down to the Bull Ring or, you know, just hanging out along the kelp line. It's been spectacular, and that is continuing to head in the right direction there. Up there at Oceanside and Dana Wharf, Western Pride out of Davies Locker. I just want to mention to you, they had a yellowtail down below there, Oceanside. Uh, they've been picking away at the bass, a lot of short bass. To keep things interesting up there at Dana Wharf, up here there's a few bass being taken, but mostly sculpin, rockfish, whitefish, that kind of thing. It's amazing to me with that pristine, beautiful water. It's up to 70 degrees, over 70 degree water temperature here on the beach now. And you would think we get a barracuda pop and some more bass, but for right now that's been the situation. There's been some good bass hits up there out of Redondo, and they had some big yellowtail the other day. One up there over 45 pounds, lost a couple of others. Marina Del Rey on the Spitfire. Nick Ramirez was out, had great bass fishing up there. So there is some bass fishing to be had. But overall, we're catching rockfish and that kind of thing. Up there in the Channel Islands, we've pretty much covered that. Pretty much rockfish, a little bit of sand bass on the beach. And there are some calico bass and barracuda out at the islands. We'll keep watching that for you very closely, but mostly rockfish right now. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of great fish taco meat. No question about that. All right, let us now talk about the surf. There it is. It looks perfect, man. Throw a chrome crocodile right behind that wave. 
and then come through there and wham, a yellowfin croaker will get all over it. At least that's the whole big fish bait and tackle down on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. They've got everything you need to make your dreams come true here this morning. You want your dreams to come true? Come down here, fish, beat the heat, and whether you catch anything or not, your dreams will come true. It's gorgeous down here. Anyway, back to big fish. They're giving away a free custom, beautiful surf fishing rod every single month. This month for the largest halibut taken in the surf in SoCal. All you have to do is go to Big Fish Bait and Tackle, buy their ruler, I think it's eight bucks, and then you'll use that ruler to upload video and photos of your catch to Instagram. And at that point, man, you're in the contest. And every single month, they'll change the species of the fish, but they give away another free custom rod. Pretty great if you ask me. Pick up your bait there, get your ruler, and head on down to Bolsa Chica and Huntington, where there's been some decent corbina fishing, some yellowfin croaker down that way, occasional halibut here up in the Santa Monica Bay, some corbina and yellowfin croaker up in that neck of the woods. Pretty lively. The last time we fished here, it was uh, pretty slow, actually. It was real slow. I put up that video. We still had a great time. You know, it was really a lot of fun. But I think we scratched out a couple of yellowfin croaker and then, you know, some guitar fish and stuff like that. But still a lot of fun fishing here in the surf. All right, my friends, I don't know what to tell you. We need that weather to come down. And it looks like that is exactly what is going to happen. We'll watch that for you very, very closely. Continue to monitor the situation on the banks with the weather. We'll keep our eyes on the islands. The long range scene just remains fabulous. Go back and watch Tackle Shop Confessions. You're going to love that. Go back and watch the Danny Cadota Show, broken up into two parts yesterday. We had some technical difficulty on show number one. So show number two, Danny talks about Albacore and what he thinks might occur up there in Morro Bay. Have a wonderful, beautiful Tuesday, and I hope to see you really, really soon.